everybody, this is Carla. I am part of the media team and we are broadcasting live here at Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital. We are here with Dr. Lau and we're going to be touring the imaging services here at the hospital. We're going to be monitoring questions, so feel free to post any questions under the comments and we will try to get to as many as we can during the live broadcast. With that, I'll leave Dr. Lau. Hi, I'm Debbie Lau, Chief of Pediatric Imaging here at Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital in Hollywood, Florida. And uh, thanks for joining us. I'm going to give you a quick tour of our imaging services and you're going to meet some of my technologists and some of my staff. And, uh, you know, sit back and if you have any questions, feel free to just call on in, okay? We're going to start right here. As soon as you come off the elevator on the third floor of Joe DiMaggio, we say hello to beautiful Sheila, our security guard. <laughs> Hi, everybody. And from here, we're going to turn around and we're going to go right into the um, waiting room, the reception area. And you can see it's a beautiful day out here in South Florida. And as you walk in, you can see it's really light and airy, surrounded by windows. It's really happy. This is Lenora. She's one of our receptionists, and she'll greet you when you come in, check you in. We have great patients. This is our waiting area over here. We've got lots of toys, TVs, you know, a lot of sunlight. Very happy place to walk into. One of the special features we have here, which was um, provided by one of our pediatric surgeons, is a toy CT scanner. And um, it allows us to make the kids feel a little bit comfortable if they're going to get a CAT scan. And here we have a patient here. And she's playing with a teddy bear that we provide that she can work through the scanner and it shows them you know that there's nothing to be afraid of. She's with Marnie who's one of our child life specialists and um, that's a very important part of what we offer here at a children's hospital. We have a great team of child life specialists so I'm going to let Marnie explain to you guys what she does. Hi I'm Marnie, I'm one of the child life specialists here and we provide psychosocial care for kids in the hospital. So we explain procedures prior to them having them done. We answer the unknown so that's our main goal in, in reduction of anxieties if they're anxious before any IV starts or procedures that's where our role comes in. We have iPads, bubbles, all sorts of fun stuff so that they're happy while they're here. And then this is our CT scanner that we use. Um, so it's a CT slash MRI. So if patients are going to have MRIs or CTs, um, this is where we do our medical play. So we allow the patient to push the doll in on the bed and then um, they actually see the camera, the pictures that come up. So they're able to see that nothing touches them, that it's just pictures and they have to hold super still for their pictures. And then at the very end, they get a cool prize. Didn't know that, huh? <laughs> awesome. So, well, thank you, Marty. We're going to head over into the department and I'm going to show you a few of our rooms and our equipment. Very secure here. Flash in for everything. So, as you walk in our main hallway, we're surrounded by rooms. We've got ultrasound on this side. X-ray on this side, CT in front of us. And as we walk through, you can see each of our rooms is specially decorated. This has like a nautical theme over here. And that's one of our X-ray rooms. We have three. They're all state of the art, provided by GE. Um, and then we have our ultrasound rooms here, and they have sort of a marine theme. So that's, I don't know what that is, walrus, maybe? <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. An otter? I think it's manatee. It's a manatee. Manatee? I don't know. Okay, and then on this, in this room we have some whales or some orcas. I'm from New York City, I don't know these animals. And you know, our goal is really to make the kids comfortable. We want them to be really comfortable whatever they're getting done here. So it makes our job easier, it makes our images prettier, and it can help us help our physicians get the answers that they need. This is um, our ultrasound technology room. We've got a bunch of sonographers here busy at work providing Hello. services for everybody. <laughs> They're being a little Hi. shy, but there's Barbara and Renee and Lily. Yes. <laughs> Lily's one of our newest. We're going to walk over this way and usually what happens is, you know, if we have a young child that needs sedation or nursing, from reception we'll go straight into our pediatric nursing area. We have a team of seven pediatric nurses. All they do is kids. So everything is all child sized and small. And again, you can see, you know, it's decorated really happy. We have 10 rooms all together, six open bays, and four private rooms. 
And we've got a really, really cool feature in this room. This is Paula. She's the supervisor for Radi X-ray. I'm going to use the big word. And Christine, one of our other Hello. techs. Hello. And we're going to show you. Christine, you're going to hit that button on the wall in a second. Hold on. So it's kind of like, now you see them. Now you don't. Which is a great feature. So you can do whatever you want to in here in privacy when the patients need it. And we love that. So we've got a bunch of our nurses here. Oh, kind of quiet. End of the day. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to walk around a little bit. You can see a few more of our rooms. And we have all these open bays as well. So when we have our inpatients come down, they're monitored. They're hooked up to all these machines. We can see them all from this central area. Nobody's ever left alone. We usually have one nurse for every patient. As we go through these doors, you're going to go into our MR area. There's some private elevators over here for our inpatients so that they don't you know, have to be seen or embarrassed by the public. And they come down separately. We practice MR safe practice guidelines, and it means there's green light, yellow light, and red light. This is the green area, see it's green zone, and it means that anyone can kind of come through here provided you're a healthcare provider. Once you go to yellow, you're met by an MR tech. You cannot pass this point unless you're accompanied by one of our staff, and this is all for safety reasons. Once you get past here, you enter the red zone, and red means that you've been checked 100 times over to make sure that there's nothing in your body or on you that's not compatible with our MR scanners, and that's all part of our safety practices. So as you walk in, this is Steve, Hello. one of our MR techs, and he's going to tell you a little bit about MR. It's MRI. Well, MRI is a, another method of imaging, and what we do is we take pictures by using a powerful magnet, and we send radio signals into the patient. During the time it does that, it makes a lot of noise. So we try to make the patients comfortable with the earplugs, the sponges and towels around their head, and it's really, really quiet. So it usually winds up being very pleasant. We give them other instructions about staying still. Also, we encourage them to take little naps, get them to start, start thinking about other things like their homework or some kind of vacation trip. So it helps them to relax and put at ease. And that usually works. So that's, those are our techniques, trying to make them very comfortable. It's kind of like a TV show for the kids. It takes about 30 minutes, most of the exam, sometimes up to an hour. So you've got these two magnets here, that's what they're called, they're called magnets. And um, you can see the technologists are here in the central workstation. They're always viewed by at least one of us. And it's in very close proximity to the nursing station. So a lot of these kids sometimes need sedation or some sort of anesthesia. Um, and so the nurses will come right over with them or the anesthesiologists and we can monitor them very closely from here. Okay, thank you. Cool. All right, oh, someone in there now. All right, we're gonna move out of red and through the yellow and back to green and into the main hallway. We are escorted right now, one of our MR techs, and he's escorting one of our, looks like a preemie, into the nursing area. Oh, watch out, some crossing traffic. We're gonna stop right here, let them go first. We're on the same floor as some of the inpatient beds, so it's really kind of nice. They can get over here in like a split second. We can get to them in like a second. We're gonna skip through here kind of quickly. And our next stop is gonna be nuclear medicine. Oh, and this is Bruce Arbogast. Hi there. Surprise. <laughs> He's our director of pediatric imaging. And we're on a webcast. Wonderful. So Welcome. Say hello. Welcome to Jody Imaging. <laughs> Glad to have you. We're going to continue our tour a little bit. You didn't even know we were doing this today, did you? <laughs> so this is nuclear medicine. A lot of people don't know a lot about nuclear medicine. It's um, you use these. Sounds like a very scary word, radioactive, but it's really not scary at all. Such low doses, and we put it into you know whatever we need to tag. And then it goes into the bloodstream or into the bones or into whatever soft tissue the baby or the child or the patient lays underneath this camera. And the camera is right here. This lifts up and it goes over them. 
And then we acquire pictures, and it's like a Geiger counter. It gives off like little, little um, pixels, and we can find where the radio tracer accumulates. The fun thing for the kids is we can tell them to pick whatever color they want, their favorite color, and they can watch it on the monitor, and they can know that when they lay still, these little like colored dots pop up all over the place. And you know, like I said, it sounds very scary, but it really is very low dose, very safe. Nuclear medicine has been around for probably 70 years. Um, and we do mix up our own radio tracer here. This is our hot lab. And everything's guarded, locked down, so no one can get to it. Safety here is probably the biggest thing for us, and we're really, really careful about everything that we do. So we're gonna walk through here. This is our main x-ray area. We've got three x-ray rooms. This is one of our techs. This is Rex. Now let me see if I can skip through here. I'm gonna skip through this room. And we're gonna continue on our tour. Welcome, this is Carrie. Hi. And again, you'll see all of our rooms are sort of decorated in different themes. I think we saw this review when we walked in originally, but this is the um, nautical theme. I'm gonna walk you over to meet one of our x-ray techs, Eddie. Oh, a bit more patience. We're gonna get out of the way. Hi, how are you? Hi. So one of the proudest things for me is how beautiful these rooms are. Because the minute you walk in, it's such a happy place to work, it's such a happy place to be a patient. Um, you know, everything's fun. This is a campfire theme room, and you can see that you walk, like you skip the pebbles over on the path, over to the x-ray table. And then behind this, over here, it's like a one-way window. Our technologist can stand back there and process the images, and the patient really doesn't see much. You can see Eddie, maybe, waving back there, biggest goofball. <laughs> so Eddie's going to tell you a little bit about x-ray and some of the procedures that we do. Okay, well, we do a lot of things here. We take pictures of bones, we do swallowing studies, we do upper GIs, voiding cystograms. This room is equipped to do all kinds of things like scoliosis series. Uh, we also do arthrograms in here. This is one of our best rooms actually. As you, as you can see, it's the prettiest. It's very nicely decorated and it's uh, very kid friendly. Um, of course, all our rooms, just like this one, is equipped to and calibrated to produce the smallest radiation possible so that we minimize the radiation exposure to any patient that comes here. Uh, if, of course, we also practice radiation protection by shielding. We shield all our patients when we don't need to expose any other um, specific area of the body. And um, our radiologists, they're very cautious about keeping their radiation exposure to, to the minimum. Um, and of course, we have different gadgets and toys to entertain our kids so that they can stay super still for their images, like our lighting sticks, we also have them handy. We have bubbles available at all times, and if they do great, we have a nice treasure box where they can pick a prize when they're done with their study. And we also have some more presents that, um, that we get from our child life specialists. That's what we have or really challenging patients and they come and help us out. They explain the procedure to the patient. They make them feel at ease so that they understand what they're doing. They understand that they're here just to take a picture and not worry about what's going on. Um, so that's practically what we do. It's very nice. Thanks, Eddie. You're welcome. Thank you. And Eddie keeps them entertained at all times. And myself, too. He keeps me entertained constantly. We try. <laughs> okay, so we're going to skip right next door. This is our CT scanner. If I can remember the code. Okay. This is a great room. It's the first of its kind in this country. It's a GE scanner, and as you can tell, it's a pirate theme. <laughs> so you walk the plank to the scanner, and the scanner looks like, um, I don't know what the bridge of a boat or ship, I guess. And um, our technologists are good. This is Lynn, she's our supervisor for CT. Hi. And oftentimes you'll walk in and you'll see them dressed as pirates with like parrots on their shoulders and hats on and swords, so it's great. Dr. Lapp, gonna interrupt oh. you real quick. We do have a question from one of our viewers. His name is Martin. He's asking, what type of special training do you need to read the scans? Oh, okay, well, that's a good question. Um, well, all of us are board certified pediatric radiologists, which means we do some extra training in addition to our radiology training. But most of us have done another one or two, sometimes three years. Um, and then we sort of, after that, kind of do what we'd like to do best. Like, I like to do body imaging, but we have pediatric neuroradiologists that only read head. 
and then we have pediatric musculoskeletal radiologists that only read bones. So it's very specialized here. You know, that's all we do all day long. Um, I think that that is, you know, invaluable because kids aren't really many adults. They have their own diseases, they have their you know own way that their bones develop and, and it's really important that you take your child to an imaging facility, whether it's Joe DiMaggio or another one, that is specially trained in pediatrics because you know they, they're going to be more familiar with what they see. So he's so. also asking why he should choose Joe DiMaggio as opposed to a closer hospital. He lives out in the West, in the west so he's wondering if it's worth traveling. Oh, that's a loaded question. Of course it's worth traveling. <laughs> um, it's a great hospital. I mean, we care so much for the minute you park your car at the valet to the minute you come up to reception. You know, we take care of not just the patient, but the whole family. It's such a great place to be. But beyond that, just, you know, trying to take a step back a little bit. I've worked in several children's hospitals, and this is, you know, premier. And South Florida is so happy and so lucky to have a place like this here. We've got you know, incredible pediatric subspecialists in, you know, all the um, different areas. And, you know, for the extra 10 minutes, Joe, that you're going to drive, I would drive here. <laughs> Great. Thank you, Martin, for the question. And oh, Joseph, Martin, sorry. <laughs> Joseph, thanks for sending us some love. Joseph was on here and he oh, said, I you? love Joe DiMaggio Hospital. They saved my life in 1995. And Selena, thank you for thanking us for the tour. Oh, we'd love to hear that. Okay, so back to Lynn. She's going to tell you about CT. Hi, welcome. So here in CT, what we do is the child starts their adventure coming in through walking the plank. We try and do a little role playing with them, having their parents with them, sometimes putting the parents on the table and showing the children what we can do. We have iPads, our child life specialist comes in and helps us. We blow bubbles and sing to the patients. We have a very um, advanced machine here with a very low dose radiation for our children that the radiologist and us partner together and we monitor all the doses and we benchmark them against the American College of Radiology. So we are in line with across the whole United States in what we do with our children. Okay, we're going to continue our tour. Thank you, Lynn. Oh, one more thing before we leave the scanner. Um, we participate in the Image Gently program, which means, you know, we practice the lowest dose radiation that we can possibly use for CT. And, you know, there's a couple little principles that we follow. You know, number one, we always make sure that the CT is appropriate. Um, that is exactly what we need to do. If there's another option that doesn't require radiation, we'll do that first. Um, we only image the area that we want to image. So we don't do the whole body if we're just interested in this part of the chest. We're just going to do this part of the chest just to decrease that extra radiation. Um, we'll only image twice. I mean once, sorry. Uh, never image twice. Um, and, you know, I, I think that all those things together really set us apart from some of the other facilities that maybe don't do pediatrics as much. Image gently. Have we not gone? Oh, here's our monkey. The kids love to do this. They come by and they swing our monkey. And you can see, you know, a lot of thought really went into um, decorating this hospital, and they've done a fantastic job. They really have everything's tied together, and um, the administration could not be more supportive. They've really been excellent beyond words. So this is our reading room. After we acquire all the imaging, whether it's x-ray or MR, ultrasound, CT, this is where it ultimately ends up and this is where I sit most of the day. And when you walk in, this is our receptionist, Shireen. She's our Hi. quarterback. She takes, Shireen, you can look. I don't want to look. <laughs> She's our quarterback. She, she runs this place. So if it weren't for Shireen, we'd be sunk. <laughs> and uh, we've got two reading rooms. There's usually two or three of us on site every day. And this is Dr. Michael McCleary. How are you doing? Try to do some work. Would yes. you like to tell them about what we do here, like our uh, how we read the images and how we get them? Yeah, so everything gets sent to our computers now. Uh, we used to have film, but uh, you know, obviously we've all done away with that. And so it's a lot easier reading it off the uh, computer than it is reading it with film. But, so everything comes from different sites, all to a central uh, location for us to read, and then we can take care of that. I forgot one room. <laughs> We're going to backtrack just a little bit. Bye. Thank you, Dr. McCleary. I forgot one room. I didn't show you the ultrasound rooms. We kind of breezed by it. 
So like I said, we have three ultrasound rooms, and again, our sonographers, all they do is pediatrics all day long, so they're not going to be doing anything different, and they are trained especially to do this, so that's incredible. So this is room three, it's our ultrasound room, and uh, oh yeah, we didn't, this is the dolphin room. And we do diagnostic ultrasound here, we also do um, procedures, biopsies, and this is Myra, she's one of our ultrasound techs, she's going to tell you a little bit about what we do here in ultrasound. We use ultrasound to um, image many parts of the body without using radiation. Uh, we also use, um, it can be used for any uh, age from preemie to young adults. Um, we use warm gel, we put it right on the camera, our transducers if you will, and then we also have the um, blanket warmers that we put on there to kind of ease their anxiety. We also, you know, blow bubbles, things like that, so that the kids, you know, maybe ease their anxiety levels. Great. And Dr. Lau, I'm just going to interrupt one more time. We do have another question from Barbara. My child has special needs. How is your staff and fa fa facility trained to handle special needs patients? Okay, well, um, a lot of ways. I mean, the easiest, the way that we always go to first is child life, you know, and we really rely a lot on our child life specialists. You know, they have a lot of techniques that are diversion techniques and relaxation techniques. We have a therapy dog that comes around, um, you know, on a daily basis to try to put the kids at ease, you know, and um, I think that's surrounded by just kind of the caring nature of everybody that you're going to meet, you know, from the first floor to the third floor. I mean, we are very, very lucky to have those ancillary services that a lot of hospitals don't, most hospitals don't actually. Thank you so much. Hi, just make sure you subscribe to our channel if you like videos like this and stay tuned to anything that um, we are going to be broadcasting live from now on. Thank you so much, Dr. Lau. You're and if welcome. there's anything else, I don't know if there's anything else you want to Come visit anytime. I'd love to see you. <laughs> Thank you.